Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day, and today I think I want to buy a new house that's actually going to be my office. I think it's time to uh, to upgrade from this dinky little space and buy a house for ourselves that uh, that will be new and improved and, and much nicer. Uh, and I don't want like a ridiculously large house, but something that's, you know, relatively uh, decent size. Maybe something like in the, I'd say, 75 to $100,000 range. Okay, I think I found the one. I bought one more house. This is the Home Admin Legends house. And I think this is exactly what we're looking for. We got a little space in here. This could make a nice office space. Over here, we got a nice little bedroom. Decent sized bathroom. And then over here, plenty of space for a living room and a kitchen. So I think this is pretty much perfect. We've got some yard space and stuff to work with if we want. I mean, if it's our own house, maybe we decorate this a little bit as well. You know, give ourselves like, oh, there's no back door. Oh, I mean, that's probably okay, honestly. I think this is the one. This is the one we're going to do. So, yeah, let's go for it. Let me get this place all cleaned up, and then we can start working on things. All right, now that we have everything all cleaned up, lawn mowed, etc., I think what I want to do is paint everything, and maybe... We might want to modify the walls a little bit. I'm thinking maybe I want to make this bathroom just a little bit smaller so the office can be a little bigger. Or maybe we swap. Maybe we change this to the bathroom. And then this becomes the office and we could maybe even bring this wall out a little bit. Ooh, I like that idea. I, yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. So this is no longer going to be the bathroom. We'll get rid of that as well. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay. This will no longer be the bathroom. This will be the office. And this will become the bathroom, which means we can get rid of that. And then I think we'll maybe extend this a bit to make the office just a little bit bigger uh, so that we can fit like a, a bit more stuff in here. Um, I did not sell these TVs because these TVs that came in the house... This is a television, and it is way bigger than the TVs that you can actually buy. So, you know, since it's my house and all, um, I'm totally keeping the giant TVs. Because, <laughs> like, why wouldn't I? We'll have one in the living room and one in my bedroom, which I think will be really cool. But anyway, I'm going to get to painting, flooring, knocking down walls, etc., etc. All right, all of the walls are painted. I put in new doors, went with black. Uh, the walls are white for now, but I may change that as we go along here. Probably, uh, probably we'll stick with white in the bathroom just because, like, I feel like there are very few situations where white is not the right choice for the bathroom. Uh, but everything else we might paint a different color, maybe like a beige or something like that in the living room slash kitchen. Maybe, I don't know, some, maybe some other color in the bedroom, something a little bit more um, eye-popping. Uh, and then the office, uh, I don't know, maybe like, a, maybe like a light gray in the office could be nice. I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, but I'm going to tackle the bathroom first. And I've got kind of a plan here. We're going to do something pretty simple. Shower, toilet, sink, and then here I'll probably put in like a shelf of some sort. Um, and pretty much call it good. Nothing too crazy. Um, and since I kind of already have this whole thing planned out, let's do this one together because it should be pretty quick. Uh, let's go with a nice... Maybe like a herringbone. Do we have like a light gray? I'd really like like this. But... I don't know, maybe this will work. Let's, let, let's look at this real quick. How does this look? Uh, not really what I'm looking for. What about... I mean, you could just go with the classic, very white tile, but I'm, I'm looking for something a little bit more sort of 
rustic for this. Maybe like a dark brown? Something like that, perhaps? And then we go wood highlights. We'd also want to go walls, um, wall tiles. And give me like a light gray here. Should only need the one, because this is this is gonna be where the shower is. So we can throw this up. Oh, I made a mistake. That's the wrong one. We need white here. Try this again. <laughs> there we go. So there's our shower. Can close this. Toilet, as I said, is gonna go back over here, and then we'll have a sink. And maybe we put curtains in as well. Uh, let's do the toilet real quick. Uh, bathroom. Personally, I like this toilet right here. Let's just go. That looks about centered, because this thing is super easy to assemble. It's just like doink, done. Uh, although that's actually maybe out a little too far. Let's back that up a bit. I don't want it to go necessarily directly into the wall, but... Right about there. There we go. That seems a bit better. And then we'll go... Toilet paper. Put that right here. That seems good. And then for the sink, we got some options. We could do something kind of like this. Uh, actually, maybe this might look nice if we go like, um, maybe like a, oh, but it's, mm, I want more wood tones than that. Something like this, perhaps. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, and then we'll need a mirror. Uh, something like this. Let's go... What did we say? We said cedar? Yeah. So let's go, like... Actually, let's buy two of these and put one here. Excuse me? You can't link them? Well, that's no fun. Why can't you link the mirrors? It would have been perfect. All right, I guess we'll just do the one. Put that here. And then, uh, that all seems good. Now we need a shelf. So let's look at, like, bookshelves, bookcases. I'm thinking something, something kind of like this. Here we go. Just something that will go right here in front of the window. Except that's kind of awkward with the shower there. Let's go something smaller. Uh, a commode. How big is this? That's pretty small. Could maybe put that here, actually. That could be a decent spot. Just to help fill up that space and whatnot. But what we really need is just something to go... Like, over here. Does this come in cedar? It does. Ooh, there we go. That's perfect. That's the perfect size. Just put that over here. Um, that'll work, like, flawlessly. Okay, cool. So then, let's go towel. We need a towel rack. Uh, let's go with pattern towels. We could go something like that. What do these different towels look like? Not really a fan of most of these. I think I'll just go with the gray. And we'll hang that right here, because that seems sensible. And then lamps, ceiling. Give me one of these bad boys. We're gonna find the middle of the room, which should be right about there. Give or take, that seems about right. Actually, I think we gotta bring it more there-ish. How bright is that? That's plenty bright, that'll do. Okay, so now, 
Let's look at rugs. We're gonna find the round rug and go large. And we'll put that here, which will help kind of fill up the space on the floor a little bit. We need a window blind. So we'll go with a closed blind. Put that in right here, and then let's put a curtain in as well, because we can. Uh, what have we got for curtain patterns? Anything that's kind of rustic? Lines? Eh, it's okay. Speckles. That's kind of rustic E, maybe? That's too big, though. I guess we need a short. Uh, that will go with wide there, right? Here we go. Let's try maybe this. It won't fit. Excuse me? What do you mean it won't fit? Why? Why won't it fit? It's not hitting anything. There's like literally nothing there. Also, I just realized there's an outlet down here that needs to be repaired. That's much better. Uh, but we need some more wood tones, I think, in here. We got to do something to kind of liven up parts of this. Uh, so let's go shelf. And let me just see, if we go with a cedar shelf, will that fit here? No. Uh, I was really hoping it would. Uh, light colored, dark colored, old fashioned. Tell me you've got cedar. Cedar, there we go. We could maybe get a few of these. They won't fit together? Really, game? Why won't you let me- Look, look, the hitbox is fine. Let me make three of these. <laughs> Pretty please. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll just put this maybe here, because that seems to make sense. And then maybe we just put, like, a, like a picture on the wall instead. Something fairly small. Like... Something like this, maybe? That's fairly small. Just a, a little picture right there to kind of help with, uh, you know, breaking up some of the colors and stuff. And then I think I also want to go with another ceiling lamp. And we're just going to do a, a little halogen lamp like this. I'm just going to put that right there. So that when we turn this on, the shower is also lit. And then give me a plant. Give me like a... Maybe something like this. How big is that? Yeah, that seems fairly okay. Let's bring that forward just a little bit. There we go. That seems fairly good. So that's a decent bathroom, I think. You know, we got our towels, we got our mirror, uh, you know, sink space, all this kind of good stuff. I think this is a nice functional bathroom. Uh, let's actually grab one more thing. Let's go towels. Let's grab a hanging towel. Not that color. Like this, and maybe hang that over here. And then let's also go stack of towels. I'm just going to get two stacks of white towels and just put them right there on the shelf. So I think that works. This is a fairly nice bathroom. Pretty simple, but uh, it'll get the job done. I decided to tackle the office next. And since it's going to be my own personal place, we turned it into an office slash recording studio gaming room. This is actually kind of similar to my actual office. Uh, you may or may not know this. I love corner desks. 
It's my favorite kind of desk. Uh, like, honestly, just the extra, like, space on top is so nice to have, like, a wraparound corner desk. So IRL, I work off of a corner desk as well, except I have three monitors and it doesn't have this like raised bit. I've got like a one, two, three monitor setup. Um, but this is pretty much as close as I could get in game. Uh, I don't have a mini fridge in my office, but I would love one. Uh, and then uh, I do have a TV in my office. I do have multiple consoles in my office, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is somewhat similar to my actual office in some ways. Um, it's pretty close. But yeah, this is what we went with. Carpeted floor, because if you know anything about audio recording whatsoever, carpeted floor in the room that you're working in is one of the most important things because of the way that sound waves work. Probably even more important than uh, acoustic panels on the walls. Uh, also, IRL, uh, the other thing about acoustic panels is you don't actually want to cover the entire wall. Like, all the walls should not be covered with these. It should be essentially sp specific spots. Otherwise, you end up with uh, audio that just sounds kind of dead. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. We've got a little soundboard. This is an amp. Uh, it's supposed to be like a, a mixer soundboard type deal. I, I do have a studio rack as well that I use. Um, you know, but everything we get, everything we need is here. Some shelves, TV, console, speakers, multiple monitors, mouse, keyboard, computer, etc. And I went with a, a regular office chair because I use a regular office chair in real life because gaming chairs are a ripoff. So there we go. So I have finished the kitchen and living room. Look at this kitchen. I would love to have this giant kitchen. Oh, it would be so nice. And then we've got a little living room area over here. Just a TV and uh, a sofa. Nothing super crazy. Um, but one thing that I want to point out about this game that I wish it had would be corner cupboards. There are no uh, cabinets, like cupboards up here, that will split a corner. Which is really unfortunate, because that would be so nice to be able to have these uh, cabinets sort of wrap around. So instead, I ended up just putting in a couple of little shelves here, and then uh, going back to cabinets over here. But all in all, I really like the way this turned out. Uh, it worked out pretty well. Nice big full kitchen, dining room table, sideboard, all this kind of good stuff. And then a fairly simple little living room over here. Nothing super crazy. So what we have left is, I think... Yeah, we've already done the bathroom. So all we have left is just the bedroom, I believe. And then I think we'll be able to move our office over here and sell the old house. And the bedroom is finished. So there we go. It's looking very simple, just the way I like it. I like a nice, simple bedroom without a whole lot of fluff. Uh, so this is what we have. It looks so clean, much cleaner than my room right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is what we got. We got a little, little laundry basket. Obviously, TV we're taking advantage of, the big TV that came with the house. Uh, I have a guitar hanging on the wall because I do play guitar. A uh, little dresser and mirror area over here so you can get ready in the morning. And that's pretty much it. Bed, obviously. Carpeted floors. I did paint the walls like a silver color. Um, just a very light gray, which I think uh, just, just because. Like, why not? Uh, and then black... Uh, black curtains, um, which I actually like a lot in real life because I'm someone who likes to sleep in until like two in the afternoon and go to bed at like six or seven in the morning. So it's nice to have blackout curtains. Um, but yeah, that's that's the bedroom. So now we're going to move our house over here uh, or our office, I suppose. And the way you do that is you go move office here. And then you just have to pick where to put the work laptop. And I'm just going to put it right there. And now this is officially our office. So now what we need to do is go to the first office, the first home right here. And we need to make just a couple minor changes to this so we can sell this place. And basically all we need to do, I think, is take this uh, bed or this couch and turn it into uh, a different couch that counts as a bed. So if we look at furniture, sofas, I believe 
this one right here counts as a bed. No, it does not. Okay. Uh, what about... What if I just search for bed and I look for something... Is there anything that looks like a sofa? This one actually kind of does. I'm not a huge fan of the green, but we can change that to like a... Maybe like a gray? And this is... This is technically a bed, but it looks very much like a sofa, although that is way too big. Um, we could sell all this stuff. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to sell all the tools, because although they were nice for me, they are not needed for whoever's going to be living here. Uh, we can probably sell the safe as well. Just make sure there's nothing in it. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, sell that. And then let's go back to this. Pick this thing up, uh, which is the taller side over here. Good, good, good. And just put that right there. So then we've got like a little bed and then we just need like a little dresser. So let's look for chest and maybe something just real simple like this. Is that gonna match? That appears to match. We'll just put that, like, right here. Doesn't need to be anything super crazy. Actually, we could go bigger than that. Let's go back. I'm looking for, like, single chest. And I think we went... Not beach, right? No, that's too light. American Elm, Cedar, Alder. Did we go Elm? That's a little too dark but I think it's fine the the computer the the, the the buyers don't actually care about things like using the same woods <laughs> it's it's for my own personal um, satisfaction either way uh, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in a couple of shelves and let's go like um, spruce shelves right about here? Is that about right? Yeah, that looks about right. And we're just going to put in a couple of these. I think I need to scoot that one over just about that much. Is that centered? That appears to be centered. Good, good, good. And then we'll put one here and there. And it's off by one spot. There we go. That way we've just got a little bit of extra shelving, because the thing is, when you're talking about a house, like a place this small, you need space. <laughs> you, you need to make, you need to maximize your use of the space. And then just to kind of fill this little area over here with something, let's just put in a plant, like so. There we go. And then this place seems perfectly reasonable. We'll just go ahead and sell this. Although I just realized we don't have any bookshelves. You know what? It's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Let's just put the house on auction. This will get us a little bit of money. Not a ton. But we're not going to be using this place anymore. So we might as well put it up for sale and get a little something. Actually, that's not bad. I mean, we got 7500 almost from, you know... 30,000 ish. That's not bad at all. That's better than I expected, honestly. All right, there we go. So that's taken place. Uh, that's taken care of. And now we have a shiny new office and new home to uh, work with, which is pretty cool. We may now, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'll do something to the outside of it as well. Because thinking about this place, if you look at it, the outside is not great. Like, it's kind of... I'll think about that for later. I think for now, it's fine. Uh, and you know what? I think I'm going to call this episode 
right here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.